G'day folks, welcome to the channel that exposes false teachers as well as church grifters, hucksters and charlatans. In this video, I want to examine a clip that was on David Digger Hernandez's YouTube channel where he interviews a Mormon, an LDS member, by the name of Daryl Eves and throughout the interview, from the beginning to the end, he treats this man as if he's a fellow believer in Christ and as if he's serving the same God that Christians Serve. Now, let's just get right into it. Let me give you the, the introduction to the clip. Hello, this is David Diga Hernandez, and you're watching a very special edition of Encounter TV Interviews. My guest is Daryl Eves, who's the executive producer of The Chosen, my all-time favorite Bible production. Daryl's also been key in helping us to strategize to grow our ministry on YouTube. Daryl, it's an absolute joy to have you with me today. Excited to be here. Now that man, Daryl Eves, is in fact a Mormon. Kind of uh, uh, where you got involved, how it all began for you, how did you meet Dallas Jenkins, and you know, kind of set up the whole story of how both of you got connected to the chosen story. Yeah. Well, I'll start out since I, you know, started it from the beginning. <laughs> yes, right, right. <laughs> now, I do think it's important to point out that that both Brad and Daryl are LDS. Yes. And so that's oh, sure, why sure. this is unique to have this conversation. So David Digger Hernandez is interviewing Daryl Eves. Daryl Eves is clearly a member of the Latter-day Saints Church, the LDS, and there's more evidence than just that clip I showed you, but, but that'll do for now. And he says that, you know, this man, Daryl Eves, is helping him to grow his channel. But what he says next is what concerns me the most. Listen to how he speaks to him. He treats him really like he's a fellow believer serving the same God that David Digger Hernandez is supposedly serving as well. So you mentioned that you had joined your skill set with Dallas, his directing, his creativity. Do you feel that the Lord had prepared you with your skill set, your experiences for such a time as this? So um, I don't like to say what God does, um, you know, in the sense of speaking for God. I don't, I don't, necessarily feel comfortable for that, but I believe uh, the life experiences that I felt along the way and also just the way I look at the internet and audience development, um, he can leverage me all he wants. And he can, if he wants me to further the work in this way, then he can. So David Digger Hernandez has this Mormon on his channel, this member of the LDS church, this member of a satanic cult, because that's what the LDS church is. It's a satanic cult. And he turns to this member of the LDS church and he says, do you think that God has been preparing you for such a time as this? As if somehow this Mormon is serving the same God that he, as a supposed Christian, is serving as well. I mean, this is ridiculous. And Mormons are not Christians. Mormons are polytheists. They believe in millions of gods, not just one God. They believe in millions of gods. And they believe that God the Father was once a man like you and me who became a God. And they believe that Satan and Jesus are actually brothers. And they believe that we are all spirit children of God the Father, of Jehovah God. And we too can become gods like God the Father and have our own planets and populate these planets just like God has. This is what this man believes. And David Digger Hernandez turns to him and says, do you believe that God has been raising you up and preparing you for such a time as this? This is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. I mean, where is this guy's discernment? Why is it that David Digger Hernandez is speaking to this man in this way? I mean, this is extremely detrimental for, for a number of reasons. First of all, you're telling this man, you're basically communicating without expressly saying it, you're communicating to this man who's lost. This man is on his way to hell. You're communicating to him the idea that he's all right with God. He's serving God. He's, he's in right relationship with God. He's you know on his way to heaven. He's, he's saved. That's that's what David Digger Hernandez is communicating to this man. Secondly, it communicates to others that are watching the show, especially Mormons that are watching the show, that Mormons and Christians serve the same God. And really, there's no difference between the two. Both are serving the same God. They're both in right relationship with God. Both have a relationship with Jesus. As Dallas Jenkins put it, we serve the same Jesus. We believe in the same Jesus. So this is extremely detrimental and it's you know disturbing to me to know that behind David De uh, Digger Hernandez's channel uh, is a Mormon uh, who is helping him to grow his channel this is very very concerning now you might say well maybe maybe David Digger Hernandez 
didn't know that he was a Mormon. This is not true because in this interview, he mentions the controversies surrounding the Chosen TV series. And the earliest controversy to arise about the Chosen was its Mormon uh, influence. The fact that the Mormons were involved in the production and, and, and really the, the founding of the Chosen TV series. I mean, watch this clip here. So obviously, anything that makes this big of an impact is going to draw some criticism. How do you deal with the criticism that comes against the show? Um, so I, I think uh, God has given Dallas a superpower, and he's also given me a superpower that we really don't even care what people think. We really don't. It's just like criticism will come, and that's fine, and everyone has their opinion, and, and, and we love it. But the reason why we're doing the show is we're, we're trying to glorify God and we're doing it in the best way that we possibly can. And so having someone that we don't even know across the world or even in our same town being very critical about the show, we're not doing it for them. We're doing it for God. And, and if they, you know, they can be cynical or whatever, and that's fine. Uh, but for us, it's about really showing authenticity and really getting this out to the world. And, and we know that not everyone's going to like it and that's okay. So at the time of the interview, David Digger Hernandez was well aware of the controversy surrounding the Chosen TV series. And the first controversy to be raised was its Mormon involvement. The fact that Mormons were involved in producing it and the co-founder, Daryl Eves, was a Mormon and so forth. This is what all the controversy was about. And what was David Digger Hernandez's response? Well, <laughs> we know there's going to be controversy around anything that God is doing. Uh, how do you handle the controversy, Daryl? And he says, uh, Daryl Eves says, well, God has given me and Dallas Jenkins a superpower and we just don't care about the criticism. I mean, you know, it's just crazy and it's unthinkable that somebody who is a man of God, who is indwelt with the Holy Spirit, would sit there interviewing this man who's on his way to hell and not address the issue. Why didn't he turn to him and say, listen, Daryl, I love you as a human being, but as a Mormon, you're not right with God and you're going to end up going to hell when you die if you don't get right with God and leave Mormonism. But he doesn't say any of that. He just, you know, affirms him in his situation. He affirms him. It's like, it's like saying to a homosexual, you know, has God prepared you for such a time as this? You know, no, God has not prepared them. They need to repent. They need to get right with God. They need to, to be reconciled with God through faith in Christ. That's, that's what needs to be happening here. You know, instead, he just kind of treats him throughout the interview as if he's a fellow believer, as if he's a, a fellow a, a laborer in the vineyard working for Christ together with the church. And he ends it as if nothing really happened. He, this guy's just an ordinary Christian like everybody else. Well, Daryl, thanks for joining me. That was Daryl Eves, the executive producer of The Chosen. Thank you for watching Encounter TV interviews. And until next time, remember, nothing is impossible with God. So from the beginning of the interview all the way to the end, David Digger Hernandez has treated this Mormon, this member of the LDS church, as if he's a fellow believer, just serving God alongside other Christians. He's just another Christian that loves God in right relationship. And he hasn't bothered to actually communicate to this man that he's actually not saved and he's on his way to hell. And he sends the message to all the LDS that could have been watching that show that they're right with God as well and everything's okay. And he sends the message to other Christians that Mormons are Christians as well. They're serving the same God as us. And, and he's not really doing what he should do. Now, why is it? Why is it that he just doesn't want to communicate these truths to Daryl Eves and to his audience. And it's because he doesn't actually care. He, he doesn't give a rip about the fact that Daryl Eves is on his way to hell. He doesn't give a rip about it. He doesn't care about Daryl Eves' soul. He, he couldn't give a stuff about Daryl Eves' soul. And really, this is sad because people are, are following David D Digger Hernandez as if he's got the Holy Spirit in him, as if he's a great man of God being mightily used of God. But this man does not care about souls. He does not care. And he doesn't care about the fact that he's just portrayed to his whole audience, uh, Christians and non-Christians, that Mormons are just as right with God and serving the same God as Christians. It's, it's shocking. It's very sad. It's disgraceful. And if you're somebody that follows David Digger Hernandez, I think you need to just go and message him, uh, go and email him, go and comment on his video and say, hey, are you saying, are you saying that this man 
is a Christian? Are you saying that this man is right with God? Are you saying that this man is in right relationship with God? Are you saying that Mormons are serving the same God as us? Go and communicate to this man this stuff. And you know, even if you don't follow his channel, go and ask him as well. Let, let the comments rack up and let's see what David Digger Hernandez does. Does he come out and flat out say that Mormons are not on their way to heaven and that Daryl Eves is not a Christian? Well, I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell notification button. I'll see you in the comments section and you'll see me in my next video.